Hello Chinese foodies and welcome back. This is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to eat hot pot like a pro. So the first step in enjoying hot pot is you have to grab a friend. There's many types of food here in China that you can eat alone, but hot pot is definitely not one of them. This is the guy that I brought with me so that I don't look like a psychopath. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Quan. I love hot pot. I love hot pot. I love hot pot. All right guys, so the next step is going to be to order the dishes that we're gonna eat inside the hot pot. So I have my friend Quinn with me here. He's also a, a hot pot expert and we're gonna order a nice array of dishes. So the dishes have arrived and they're all on the table here for you guys to see. All right guys, so we finally have the pot with the hot pot base inside. This this is a double-sided pot. In Chinese, we call it yuan yang guo. What you're looking at in the pot is actually there's some uh, red chili oil, beef tallow inside. Then you have the dried chili peppers. You have some sliced ginger, some sliced garlic. In the middle, we actually have a non-spicy soup. So there's a little bit of mushroom flavor as well as some dates in there as well as seasoning. With that, we can choose with the dishes whether we want to put it in the spicy part or non-spicy part. We have a little appetizer snack, which is the deep fried pork, lotus slices. Then we have the tender beef. Then you have the shrimp balls here. You have the double chili pepper beef, the fresh porcini mushrooms, the gong choy. There's some dried tofu here. This is the beef stripes and crab stick. This is the shrimp dumplings. These are the must order dishes in Chongqing. So we're looking forward to cooking these. So first we have to obviously let the soup boil uh, and get it nice and hot. And once that's ready to go, we're gonna start to add the dishes in one by one. So now she's adding the, the beef broth inside of the soup to allow all of everything to melt and to cook down into the soup. Now we're gonna be making our dipping sauce. So we're gonna first grab a bowl. All these bowls are for everyone to come and make the dipping sauces. So the first step in the dipping sauce is you have to add the sesame oil inside. This is basically the base of the dipping sauce and it allows basically the vegetables and things inside of your dipping sauce to stick to the food once you dip it inside. The classic Chongqing way to make the dipping sauce is just to add sesame oil and garlic. That's it. But I'm obviously not a Chongqing person and so I'm gonna make it a little bit my style. So I like to add a little bit of cilantro as well. I like the freshness that the cilantro provides with um, the spiciness of the hot pot. And then we're also gonna add some some green onion as well. Add a little bit of that. All right, so we're gonna skip the chili peppers because I can't handle the spice. But we're also gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of uh, MSG. Here at the end we have some sesame paste. No one in Chongqing uses that. The oil, a little bit of garlic, and a lot of chili. More chili, yes. More chili, yes. Finally, it's time to eat. We're both very, very hungry, so it's time to eat. So as you can see in the soup, it's very red in color. And you can obviously see the full chili peppers that they have inside. And then you have the citron peppercorns as well. First thing that we're gonna cook today is gonna be the beef tripe. So this is typically the first thing that you would cook when you come to a hot pot meal. For the best texture, you wanna cook it for about 15 seconds. Here in China, they say qi shan ba xia, seven times up and eight times down. That's a good way to remember the time while you're trying to cook the beef tripe. So we're gonna cook this first and uh, and have a little bit of this. <laughs> you're just gonna slip. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna cook it about 15 minutes. Second, 15 minutes is okay. <laughs> so now you gotta dip it in the dipping sauce that we made before. Get a little bit of oil. The dipping sauce is also a little bit, it helps to kind of wash off some of chilies or maybe some of the citron peppercorns yeah, that you might yeah. get out of the soup. And then you obviously get some of this garlic and the cilantro on the dish as well. <laughs> Good, right? Yes. Very happy. If you've never had beef tripe before, it's a very interesting texture. It's hard for me to describe. It's obviously meaty, so it's obviously a protein, but it's a little bit chewier than most meats that you might uh, eat on a regular basis. But if you cook it properly in the soup, it's just a good combination of soft and chewy. So it's a very good texture. Mmm, actually pretty good. Yeah. Yep. Well, we put this in this pot because it's gonna take longer than the beef tripe. So for the beef tripe, it's only about 15 seconds. So you can kind of hold onto it and go up and down and count the seconds while you're cooking. But for this meat, it takes a few minutes to cook. So you basically just dump all of it inside. And every once in a while, you can kind of lift one up and check to see whether it's done or not. And then you can eat it. This is the, uh, the double chili uh, beef. And so it's gonna be spicy, obviously, because it's coming from the red part of the soup. But it's gonna be even extra spicy. Even before we cook it, it's already made using uh, raw chilies on top, basically. <laughs> I see. And there's mm. an extra chili in, in, in my, in my dipping sauce. Mm. So when Quinn has the double chili beef, it's actually called triple chili beef. <laughs> so now we're adding some stuff into the non-spicy part. So here we have the shrimp dumplings. So here we have one of the shrimp dumplings. So you obviously would just dip it in the dipping sauce and then 
And there's, I wouldn't say it's crunchy, but there's a little bit of like a, like a squishy texture basically, like you bite into it. It doesn't just like melt in your mouth. And lastly, we're gonna add some of the shrimp balls in too. If you wanna eat hot pot like a pro, one thing that you have to remember when you go to eat hot pot is do not wear any light colored clothing on the top half of your body. When you eat hot pot, there's obviously so much oil inside that it's very easy to get some oil on your clothes and things like this. And if you're wearing light colored clothing, it's, it leaves a stain and it looks bad in front of your friends. If you're on a date, then you may not ever get to have your girlfriend. So don't wear light colored clothing when you come to eat hot pot. One thing that you should remember if you're going to eat hot pot, the longer that it cooks, the spicier that it gets. So if eventually it's too spicy for you, one thing you can always do is to order some soy milk. It helps to cool down your taste buds, sort of makes things taste a little bit better and, and calms down your mouth. So it won't feel so spicy. Alcohol free soy milk, nice. Mm -hmm. Nothing like a night out in Chongqing with some soy milk. Uh, right. Every good story in Chongqing starts with soy milk and the Yunyang Guo. <laughs> I teach you guys a cultural thing as well. When you're out with your Chinese friends and you do a cheers, you gotta be lower than them when you cheers the cup and he just beat you. So. <laughs> cheers? Yeah, yeah, cheers, cheers. <laughs> nice. Guys, so sometimes actually when you're eating hot pot, you might be eating and eating and eating and then you're searching around the pot for something good to eat and you realize that you found something that you've added in maybe 30 minutes ago at the bottom of the pot. That's always a good feeling when you can find something that's been in there so long. This is a crab stick. You can actually see that after it cooks, it starts to sort of break open and you can sort of see sort of the, the stringiness of the, meat, of the crab meat. Mmm. So guys, so I brought with me a little surprise today for my hot pot because when I eat hot pot, I have a few different unique little things I like to do. So I actually brought my own little chili sauce here today, the, uh, actually our Chinese um, chili sauce. So I like to use this as sort of a dipping sauce for the hot pot. I mean, obviously it's also a chili sauce, but it's more fragrant than it is spicy. A little bit smoky, a little bit dry chili flavor to the sauce. Black bean flavor really adds a lot of salt and unique flavor to the hot pot. But I like to use this even at home as well. Like I use this constantly for making different types of Chinese dishes at home. I even like to mix it with rice when I'm eating different dishes and things like this. So it's actually a very versatile sauce. We also launched our new website recently. Feel free to check it out and see all of our current sauce offerings. If you're eating hot pot and you eat towards the end of the meal and you feel like you're not satisfied enough with the spiciness, you can ask them to add a little bit more spice. You can add them, tell them to add a little bit more chili peppers inside. Obviously, we have our Chongqing friend Quinn here, loves spicy food. So we're yeah. gonna add a little bit more yeah. spice for him and allow him to have a better experience. So thank you. Let's add some, <laughs> let's add some more chilies inside. <laughs> So guys, we're finally adding the spiciness inside, getting a little more spicy. Yeah. Be careful when you have more chilies in your hot pot, it's not a joke. Alright, so guys, the last dish that we have to add into the pot is our potato slices. You might be wondering, why did you save the potatoes till the very end? With the potatoes, there's a lot of starch inside of potatoes. And so when you add them into the soup, the starch sort of mixes in with the soup and it creates a different consistency. And the soup becomes very sticky, a little bit slimy. So the best thing to do is to add it at the very end. All right, guys, so thank you so much for following along with Quinn and I as we ate the hot pot tonight. We hope that you enjoyed and we also hope that you also have a chance to enjoy a hot pot meal very soon. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next episode as we go to explore more of Chongqing's famous cuisines. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much.